Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Today we're getting to know sound engineer Travis Kennedy. Travis has worked with Ryan Adams, The Roots, Regina Spector. He worked at Electric Ladyland Studio in New York City before moving to Austin. He's worked with Eddie Kramer of Jimi Hendrix fame, Jamie Candeloro, R.E.M. He currently works with renowned engineer Tim Palmer, who mixed the album 10 for Pearl Jam, one of my personal favorites. He's most recently worked with Blue October, Quiet Company. He worked on an album that won like 10 Austin Music Awards, which is pretty amazing. And of course, Travis, your favorite ever was working with me. I know, you don't have to say it. Travis was the recording engineer for our Whisper of the Moon studio session with Tosca String Quartet, and he also mixed the album. I hear your voice ringing against the window pane and pull the blanket tighter. Do you have a favorite song in this collection? Different times I have different favorites, I think. Overall, I think maybe Almanac is my favorite. It's a great track, and it's it's pretty dark, and I really like it, and I love the harmonies on it, and the string quartet did an amazing job, and the performance is so intimate. So let's talk about how we created that song, because there are harmony vocals, and that could maybe be confusing for some people. This is the beauty of the hybrid studio live session that we created. Right, right, right. Of course, the the main vocals were recorded live with the string quartet, and then in the mix process, you had some great ideas for harmonies to add to it, to give it that extra special edge to it, and I think it really push the song over the top as far as conveying what you wanted to out of the song and it it turned out fantastic. Part harmony on Almanac, and then I did some doubling. Cam Rogers came in and did Shaker, which is really low in the mix on Little Star. Then the next day, we had Ride Dog Johnson come in and put electric guitar on Olight, which is really low in the mix, but it really does, there's something about his guitar on that that glues the whole thing together. What will my fantasies become? Because it was created in a studio, that quality of sound is so wonderful. It's enhanced by the fact that there was all of that energy there from the small audience. We had the best of both worlds there, and I think the challenges and the limitations served the project better. When I was sitting there singing, you could hear all of the string quartet in my microphone. So there really was only so much that we could do in the mixing process. So it really did keep the integrity of the performance intact. That's why we had such preparation had to be taken into the tracking of it. If you're not really careful about how you position microphones and what choice of microphones and everything, if you're very strategic, then you can actually mix a lot more efficiently than if you just threw up microphones. I think people will be surprised to learn that it was recorded in front of people. Showing people the video of it will really help them understand how special this was. Mm-hmm. Because if you hear it, you're a lot of people would be like, wait, it sounds live, but how is it so clean? Well, I'm excited to share it with everybody, and I'm so glad that we got to work together on this. I'm extremely, extremely proud of this record. The way that everything came together is really magical, I think. There could have been a lot of problems, but it went really smoothly, and everything sounds so great. You couldn't ask for better performances from a string quartet or an artist or everything. The studios, the vibe, the audience was great. The mixing was very efficient and was fun and just a great process. And then the overall product is just absolutely amazing, I think. It's one of, the, one of my favorite projects I've ever worked on. My great thanks to Travis Kennedy for letting me interview him today. Thanks to you for listening. Hey, we've just got a few more days in our Kickstarter campaign, so I hope you'll check it out and pledge what you can and help us to make this possible. Thanks so much. Ciao till next time. You